him. I want to watch the, the news. Are you making are you making headway at least? This is the news. Macamagab! It's time for the only news that matters. And during a recent interview, Tommy Shaw of Styx explained how he was able to let go of his resentment list, which included long harboring animosity toward Dennis Young, ex Styx member. The Styx guitarist claimed he had no hard feelings toward the band's former singer, adding that he was honored to play the Dennis the Young pen songs which is uh, the best of times and Mr. Roboto really uh, during stick shows a quarter of a century after the fact that Tommy Shaw has an epiphany says Dennis the Young well thanks T that's mighty kind of you and you are correct your solo on the song is perfect so is the one on first time. You sure can pick the right notes given the, you know, there are so many to choose from. I sure wish you would have invited me back this tour to sing this one, if it's one of your favorites. In case you have forgotten, there's a bunch more that you guys are playing that I could sing and play as well, like Mr. Roboto. Yeah, as most Styx fans know, Mr. Roboto is a point of contention in the band's history. Though the 1983 single was a big hit, its theatrical style, part of the broader futuristic concept album, Kilroy Was Here, rubbed some people the wrong way, like me. Dennis Young was Styx's creative force at the time, and the LP has historically been regarded as the beginning of his discourse with the rest of the band. Dennis Young was fired from Styx in 1999. For many years, the band refused to play Mr. Roboto in concert. In 2018, Styx added it back in their set at the request of the fans. Young says, I know you've been playing Mr. Roboto as an encore for some time. You also had very kind words for that one as we'll call a timeless song with an incredible arrangement. No need for you to come up with any songs about robots when you got that one in your arsenal, don't you know? Even though the song isn't about robots, but the concerns I had regarding the technology humans could create. Thank goodness that never happened. Dennis Young went on to point out that Tommy Shaw was an important part of Mr. Roboto's creation, even if he later distanced himself from the track. So Dennis also said, but you know that you were there adding the vocorder on the song and that was me uh, with JY singing in Japanese that JY's friend's parents came up with. Man, we had fun doing that one. All the band members and two engineers gathered around the board, mixing it in real time, and each of us with hands on the knobs with individual responsibility. A real team effort. We wanted it to sound like machines had recorded which even dictated the way John played his drums. It was also why the guitars are unplayed. Guitar sounds too human. This song was our way of saying, here comes the machines. It does an old guy's heart glad to know that my ballad and my one foray into techno are still loved by so many of our fans. Think of me each night when audiences go nuts over Roboto and when they get all weepy over the best of times. I know they will because I've seen it myself countless times these past 25 years. Stick Summer Tour alongside Foreigner, who has no original members, is scheduled to run through the end of August. Meanwhile, Dennis DeYoung, who issued his final studio album 
in 2021 has no touring plans at the time. And that's a bummer because I've seen the Dennis the Young solo band. How many times now? I think it's been three times. And man, they're phenomenal. They are phenomenal. And sticks without Dennis the Young. I'm sorry. I know. I know. You all enjoy yourself. I've seen it. I have seen Sticks without Dennis the Young. They weren't bad. But where's Dennis the Young? I'm sorry. I don't like that Canadian dude. I don't like him. I, I, you know, him doing the Dennis songs. It doesn't sound right to me. I don't care if you got a spinning keyboard. I give your spinning keyboard my spinning middle finger. You're not Dennis the Young. And I think Dennis the Young deserves to be in Sticks. Honestly, come on. The guy started, he's, he was even there before JY, a real original member, him the Panazzo brothers, you know? They started it, and he, he was even playing uh, accordion, you know? I know my Sticks history, you know, and the band they formed wasn't called Sticks. See, I know my history, but I can't remember the name of the band before Sticks. I don't know, uh, tri-state area, I know it's with a T, but whatever, it don't matter. Uh, what matters is the stick stuff, man, I love sticks, but it has to have Dennis the Young. Yeah, Crash of the Crown was okay, and so was uh, The Mission, but hey, I enjoyed Dennis the Young's last three studio albums much more, and I, I, it, that's hard to believe, because Dennis the Young, you'd figure, his albums would suck because, you know, he, in the 80s, I'm sorry, his studio, is that's one studio album, Desert Moon. That's not my thing, man. It became like adult contemporary crap. And I was still a teenager at the time. But, uh, but I love him now. And I, you know, and I've seen him three times, like I said, and every time it was amazing. His band is awesome. He's got a dude doing like uh Tommy Tommy Shaw songs, man, and he does it great, you know? I I don't mind that guy doing Tommy Shaw because it's not called Sticks. It's Dennis DeYoung solo band. When it's called Sticks, you know, I don't want to see anybody but Tommy Shaw singing those songs. But this is a different situation because they fired Dennis. And who knows? Look, all I can say, you know, Maybe he deserved it. Maybe they couldn't take him no more. Enough's enough. But JY and Tommy, no. There's no way. They've tried. They've tried. There's no way they're going to go out there and, and fill these places they're filling now as Tommy Shaw or as JY or as Tommy Shaw and JY, formerly of Sticks. No, it's got to have the Sticks name. If you put the name on the band, I don't give a fuck if they have no original members, which Foreigner has no original members. People today love that, man. Hey, they sound great. Oh, man, it sounds just like the records. But it's not Lou Graham. It's not Mick Jones. It's crazy. But people love that shit. I don't, man. The only way I would ever pay to see Sticks again is if it was on a package deal with another band I wanted to see. I'd go for that or if I get a free ticket, you know? But no, if I had my choice between Dennis DeYoung and Sticks, you bet your ass I will pick Dennis DeYoung. Hands down, his band, and I think his band is even better. They play better live. It's it's awesome, man. If you haven't seen Dennis the Young solo, you should. That is, if you're one of these guys that pays to see Sticks with Tommy Shaw and J.Y. Young. Tommy Shaw, part of the classic Sticks lineup. Not an original member, but boy, did he bring a lot of great tunes to Sticks. And nobody else in the original lineup. Chuck Panazzo comes out and does a song. Not a bad gig. It's okay. I'm not saying it's bad, but it's like a tribute band. Hey, Dennis the Young's is like a tribute band, but I just think that tribute band's better because it has Dennis the Young and his and his keyboards don't spin. And notice that Dennis the Young brought up how Tommy Shaw 
uh, did a great solo on the song First Time. That's a little dig at Tommy back in uh, when Cornerstone was out. After Babe was the number one hit, they were going to release First Time as, an, as a single. And Tommy Shaw threatened to quit the band if, if they put it out as a single. So that's why Dennis brought that up. Right on, everybody. Anyway, thank you all for watching The Only News That Matters. I really do appreciate each and every one of you. Leave your comments below. Are you a Sticks guy? Are you a Dennis the Young guy? Does Sticks suck to you? All Why? that stuff. It's all welcomed here on The Only News That Matters because you all rule, and I want to thank you again for watching. And please, if you are subscribed to my channel, check to see if you're still subscribed because people keep getting unsubscribed for no reason. And it sucks. And if that happens to you, I need for you to come back, please. All right. And hey, subscribe if you haven't. You know, in case you're not subscribed, press that subscribe button. I really would appreciate that. And like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. So stay frosty. Listen to Black Sabbath and smack him a cob. Farewell and adieu to you fair Spanish ladies. Farewell and adieu you ladies of Spain. For we've received orders for to sail back to Boston. And so never more shall we see you again. <laughs> Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh